So I just sold my Canon R6 Mark II. It's gone, I don't have it anymore. And I think I'm officially done with the Canon ecosystem. Unless of course you count my Canon film cameras, in which case I, I do have more than one. So what camera am I switching to? Well, back a while I made a video about switching to the Lumix S5 Mark II X from my Canon R6 Mark II for all personal projects. I was still keeping my R6 Mark II, but going to be using the Lumix for all of my YouTube projects. And I did, and it's been great. I really love the Lumix S5 II X, but that is not the camera that I'm talking about in this video. By the way, I happen to just be in Cockham Castle. It is the oldest castle in all of Europe built around 1000 AD. It's gonna be a beautiful spot to just kind of nerd out about cameras, so I hope you enjoy the scenery. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the Canon R6 Mark II and also the Canon ecosystem before we talk about the camera that I'm switching to. So I've actually been shooting with Canon since the old 70D days. Actually, this is my friend Malachi. He still has his. He's the one who convinced me way back in the day to get the C7, or excuse me, to get the 70D because it had dual pixel autofocus. It was the first DSLR of its kind to have dual pixel autofocus, which was really exciting. But I've used all kinds of Canon cameras over the years from the 1DC, the Canon C200, the M50, the legendary M50, of course, the C500 Mark II when I worked with Armando, I've just always been in the Canon ecosystem. But when Canon introduced the RF mount back with the EOS R, I really feel like some of the magic that Canon had was just lost. I, I don't know what to say. It's like their cameras now have overheating issues. They're no longer the best in class autofocus. They have weird body designs like a micro HDMI. They've had no third party lens support for the last few years or many other issues that I've had with Canon ever since the RF mount was introduced. But honestly, I kind of just ignored all these issues because I was simply used to Canon. I like the menus, the color science, the ergonomics, which are honestly quite good. But it really is death by a thousand cuts for me. I mean, you have things like micro HDMI only giving us C-Log3 when the camera's fully capable of C-Log2. You have other things like overheating in 4K60, and the list could go on and on. One by one, I watched everyone I know switch to Sony. Even major Hollywood productions were switching to Sony, like in Mission Impossible, Andor, or Avatar. And they actually even used the Sony FX3 recently to film The Creator, which is just insane. But honestly, I kind of ignored all that because I thought it was just hype or that people were being paid to switch to Sony. But while Canon was getting complacent over the years, Sony has been advancing. And finally, I just had to switch to Sony. Okay guys, enough suspense. The camera that I'm switching to from my Canon R6 Mark II is the Sony A7R5. And this is such a wonderful camera and I'm very happy with the switch so far. Sony honestly just addresses all of my issues that I've had with Canon. They just aren't making any compromises. You have a full-size HDMI, this tilt flip screen hybrid that is absolutely incredible, a 9.4 million dot EVF. You have their best log profile, S-Log3, best in class autofocus, and not to mention that amazing 61 megapixel 8K sensor. Like I said, they just aren't compromising. So Sony actually addressed one of my biggest personal complaints with their cameras, and that is the menu system. The Sony, dreaded Sony menus. They're normally awful. Well, on this one now, you have this blackier style menu system, similar to the black magic system, and I do find that to be quite a bit better. And the Sony a7R5 was really the only camera that I wanted from Sony in recent years, for the most part, uh, but it was always a bit more on the expensive side at $4,000. Luckily though, nowadays you can kind of find them for a somewhat decent price used, and that's what I did. Also, I'm really excited for E-mount because it opens up a world of third-party lenses to me that I just didn't have with the Canon RF system, like that new Sigma 70 to 200 millimeter that looks pretty dang cool. Now, I did consider briefly getting the Sony FX3, but honestly, I really wanted to have that 9.4 million dot electronic EVF with that 120 frames per second refresh rate. It, I mean, it's the best EVF there is. But I'm really happy with the image quality that you're able to get out of these newer Sonys. The color science now is actually just as good as Canon and maybe arguably better. That Canon color just is no longer superior. So what about my Lumix S5 Mark II X? Am I keeping it? Am I selling that as well? Well, actually I've decided to keep that. I honestly really love my Lumix S5 II X. So I'll just use it in conjunction with the Sony a7R5 moving forward. So yeah, I'm sorry, Canon. I really tried holding out for you, but at a certain point, I just had to switch to Sony, just like everyone else. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and this amazing German scenery. It was really fun to explore. 
cock him. Coach him? Cock him. <laughs> uh, the castle, it was really fun to explore the castle. The oldest castle in all of Europe. Pretty exciting. Subscribe if you love cameras and I'll see you somewhere else in Germany. Take it easy, guys. Hello, puppy. <laughs>